Welcome back to another edition of Bits, Bobs and Bargains. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, <laughs> just trying to lighten the mood, you know what I mean? Right, okay, let's get on to this one. So welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing really well. Today's episode is um, shopping. So it's shopping as in grocery shopping. Now, I've got... A little mic on here and I'm testing this little mic so I'm hoping the sound is going to be all right but obviously I won't know until I go and edit the the video and upload it and blah 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 um, so fingers crossed this is working okay and that you can hear me all right okay so let's get on um, grab yourselves a drink um, and we can just go over this is just my normal everyday grocery shopping but what I'm trying to get around is looking at supermarkets in general their prices and compare them now i've only been to aldi and home bargains home bargains um, i only picked up a few bits but i'll show you those as well um and the the rest let's just say a normal shop if you like uh, grocery shopping is from aldi so let's ju let's just get on and go over basic food and um, you know do we think this is good price or not a good price i'm finding now the and we know and we all know that the cost of living is going up we all know that wherever you go doesn't matter where you go the pound shop is no longer a pound shop um home bargains their stuff's gone up aldi their stuff has gone up some of their items are actually double from what they used to be so we know everything's going up but what we want to look at is you know where are we getting our food from now you know where are we finding the best bargains um i one of the things i don't do anymore is buy brand named products so for instance let's check and i've got my little my little list here my receipt here now i got six i think it was six bags one second because i've got a lot on the floor here as well i've got one two three four five six i had six bags of shopping and they are filled up and the bill in aldi's came to 62.99 the and as i'm looking down here i want to see what was the most expensive thing was uh olive oil and it's three pound fifty nine second most expensive thing on my shopping list was two actually it's, no it's not two chicken breasts which again are probably down in there with 225 with the almat washing liquid non-bio 225 we'll cut we'll come to these bits but they were the they were, everything else was under two pounds um they were the only things what was kind of two pounds and over i don't do brand names so for instance i was talking to my other channel about um when i did a shopping trip down to down to the pound shop pound land i call it pound shop uh down to pound land pound land sorry um and their own washing i'm not talking about the brand names what are in there i'm just talking about their their non-branded name um is one pound 75 for non-bio um, and, and i was talking about but why i buy non-bio mother channel so i'm not going to go into the details why i buy non-bio 175 in the pound shop it's exactly the same size bottle so you're looking at 720 mil this is 225 in there so it's not it's not too bad as opposed to obviously your aerial, your personals and things like that. So to me, I'm trying to cut back money. This channel is about cutting back money. Your unbranded, let's say, products work just as good, if not better, and it's cheaper for you. So give the, the non-branded products a go. Truly, give it a go. So we are looking at a box of 160 round tea bags, from Aldi, it's their red label make, as opposed to PG tips, which are 345 for the same amount. As I say, I truly, truly would not know the difference. So for me, that is a huge saving. 345 to 139. Come on, unbelievable. Um 
you know I've got other bits and pieces here another couple of bargains um, at Christmas in Audi the the 12 pack of the pigs in blankets my grandchildren love these um, you don't have to have these just at Christmas you can have these all year round they worked out they was 1.99 at Christmas they were 99p so I picked up a couple of boxes of these even if I put them in the freezer and I you know when I have the kids around at the weekend or whenever I can just chuck them in but for 99p for 12 that's not too bad so if you're going into Aldi and they've got them in there just put a couple of boxes in your freezer um, you know as I say you don't have to have them at Christmas you can have them all year round or if you've got a party coming up pop in there because half price they were for the pigs in blankets um, as I say I'm not going to go over everything I'm just going to pick out certain bits just to show you um, bread this is another true saving of bread um, Hovis brown wholemeal bread is well over a pound Aldi for a medium slice wholemeal bread and the ingredients are all the same if you look on the back here you will see that most of them have the same ingredients in them and this was 35p so again it's a huge saving would you know the difference between a slice of Hovis and a slice of Aldi's own brand or Asda's own brand have a think about it and look at what you could save um, what else do I think is a good savings things like again back to non-branded stuff a packet of these which are the equivalent as Twix so you these are called Jive They're, they are Aldi's own make um, these were 75p and I can guarantee that the Twix um, the proper uh, Cadbury's brand is going to be probably double that but again I, you know I can pop pictures up so you can actually see the difference but it just shows you again and if you look at the ingredients on the back what you might find as well is the ingredients on the back okay they may have less cocoa in them but they also will have less fat in them and less salt excuse me and less salt in them. tapped my little mic then so if that made a funny noise sorry about that you yeah you're going to find in, you know other things like that in there what you do have as well is so you've got a bit of an allergy advice in there so your allergens anything to do with allergies in here it's going to be in bold it says it on the back here so things like whole milk um, milk powder, soya, mi uh, barley, wheat, um, it could contain nuts, it contains eggs and other gluten products so just be aware if you're gluten um, intolerant as well so just check out the bits and pieces there. Um, what else do I think is fairly reasonably priced again? Let's go with um, some little yogurts. I buy these for the grandchildren. Um, they're a fromage fray. So the fromage fray, the actual fromage fray, um, you know, make itself is going to be double the price. These were quite inexpensive. They was I've got four in a packet of here, um, and I believe uh, one pound and nine pence for the little from, and you get a nice big tub. So not a bad price at all. Going on, going back to the um, washing liquid, I also buy their um, Comfort in there or your fabric conditioner, whatever you want to call it. It's actually not the make of Comfort. Comfort is its own brand. This is fabric conditioner. It's the Almat So Soft Pure and Gentle. Again, I get this for, for skin irritant um, reasons. Um, this has got a 5 to 15% of the um in the ingredient we were talking about earlier but it does also contain perfumes um and a couple of other things but obviously um but you get 42 washes out of this and it is for sensitive skins and babies that conditioner fabric conditioner was one pound 19. you know they all do the same thing but these are money saving um options we've got bolognese sauce so like for instance if you're making spaghetti bolognese if you're making a lasagna um they the, the brand called dolmio now if you bought the dolmio sauce and i'm just looking down on my notes below here two pound 20 for a 500 milligram uh, sorry a gram jar this was 75p um again personally okay the uh, the dolmio sauce has got quite a lot of thickness to it and it's got probably more tomatoes in it however what I do with mine is I add a tin of chopped tomatoes in it 
So that bumps up to a tin of tomatoes is about 34 pence if you buy the, if they, you make, you know, the, the, um, the shop's own brand. That bumps up to a pound, so you're still saving one pound 20. It's exactly the same. Um, so I only buy Aldi's own make, or even if I had to go into um, a supermarket, I would get their own brand. But Aldi is very close to where I live, so I just shop in Aldi's. That's the bolognese sauce. Give it a go. You just try these things. Honestly, you'll be surprised. Let's quickly touch on um, cleaning products. Now, I've bought, I buy white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. 29 pence in Aldi, 30 pence in Asda, 55 pence or 60 pence in Home Bargains, and Sarsen's own make is obviously more. Um, I don't actually use white distilled vinegar for consumption. I use it for my cleaning products. And I only use a handful of products now. So, so let's, let's, let's have a look at it like this. Okay, so you go in a supermarket and you're looking for your cleaning products. And we all know supermarkets are crafty. They put all these bright coloured labels. Well, it's probably not the supermarkets, it's the manufacturers. They put all these bright coloured labels on them. So when you walk down the shopping aisle and you see all these bright colour boxes, oh yeah, that's going to look, oh yeah, I'll have a smell of that. Yeah, that smells really nice. And it's to trick you, to get you to buy it. Um, I, you could spend loads of money. I bet if you went down and bought your shop um, and you had to buy, let's say, five cleaning products, one for your bathroom, one for your kitchen, one for the rest of your house, one for polishing, and one for your oven, maybe five products. And if you bought each brand for that, you're probably going to spend 10 quid on five products. Maybe. I've now stopped buying all them products. They're toxic for a start. I've got young grandchildren, we have dogs in the family as well, I've just stopped spending unnecessary money. So now what I use is white vinegar, lemons, because I buy lemons anyway, uh, and I use the skin from the lemon. So when I've used a lemon and I've squeezed all the juice out of it for whatever I'm using it for, I keep the skins and the pith and everything else. I use them, I use the white vinegar, I use tea tree oil, you can buy tea tree oil in the pound shop for a little uh, um, a little vial or a little bottle. Um, I use bleach in my toilets, which is cheap. Um, and I use bicarbonate soda and, and sandra crystals. That's it. And I do my whole house with those products from top to bottom, including cleaning my mirrors and my windows. Um, and we will be doing a video on my cleaning products and how I use them. I, I've even used that same ingredients in cleaning my oven. So again, these are things we're gonna be doing. You can clean your washing machine with them as well. Um, so have a look for your distilled vinegar. As I say, 29 pence in Audi, 55 to 60 pence in Home Bargains, and it was 30 pence in Asda. But do have a look. The, these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And as I say, we'll be doing a whole video on cleaning products, natural cleaning products, and how you can make them, and how you store them, and how you put them together, okay? Um, back to your bleaches. Bleaches in Aldi used to be 39p. I think they're now like 60p. Um, and I only, only use, I, I, there's two, two things what I use my bleach with. I, to bleach my, my kitchen cloths, so my cloths, what I have in my sink, I genuinely um, dip them and keep them in bleach overnight to give them a good, a good bleach up. And I also put them in the dishwasher. But we'll, again, that be, we'll be covering all that as well. Um, the bleach, I only buy Aldi's own make. I don't buy the Domestos or, or any of the named brands. They, to me, it's bleach, it does the same job. I just use these in my toilets because I like my toilets to be clean all the time. So I give my toilets, probably every day or every other day, a go around with the bleach um, and that gives them um, a good clean out as well. I just wanted to quickly show you is the Jumbo Kitchen I always call it kitchen roll, kitchen towel for your kitchens. Um, this is one roll, it's 240 sheets. Now this is a little thing I do, right, when I'm testing toilet roll and um, kitchen roll. I get my finger there on the inner part of the tube there, get my thumb and I squeeze it. If that feels nice and tight, then I know that that's a nice, it's gonna be good quality. If I squish it in and it squishes down like that, 
then it's, I know it's going to be no good. It's going to be too thin. So do a little test. If you squish it like that and it's thick, you know it's good. If you squish it down and it goes down to nothing, then you it's like as if they've pumped it with air. So it looks like you've got a great big roll of it. In actual fact, you haven't. So do that little test. Next time you go out, I'll do it with toilet rolls as well. Um, and I've got the toilet rolls here from Home Bargains, but we'll, we'll go with that in a second. So the jumbo, jumbo, the jumbo kitchen towel from Aldi's was one pound nine. The pound shop, they do do one in there. Um, I think it's about one fifty maybe. So it's it's dearer. Um, and Tesco's own brand kitchen roll is two quid. So you're saving nearly nearly a pound by using. Um, your cheaper supermarkets, so like, like the likes of your elders and your littles, those kind, kind of things. So, you know, they do this, they, they all do, chucking it around, they all do the same sort of jobs. Um, in actual fact, Tesco one, I've got the price down, there's 195. Um, but it, it's still a saving, still a saving. Now, on to home bargains. I, is home bargains really the bargain store now? I don't know. I this is one bag. This bag here, that's it. Just this bag here, shop, my shopping bag, and some loo rolls, and that came to twenty-eight pounds eighty-three. And there's only bits and pieces in here, but there is something in there which is a brand name, and that's probably bumped the price up. But let's just go through what we've got, okay? So I'm literally going to go through these items on here. And the items I've got, I'll, I'll just tell you how many I've got here. Um, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 items. The dearest thing on here was the toilet rolls at 329. You get nine in a pack. Next on my list, biscuits. I'm a huge biscuit person. Um, and they are in here somewhere, she says. Um, biscuits were 99p. These are shortbread. Um, you can get them in the pound shop as well. They were 99p. Um, I haven't got really any views on biscuits or biscuits. Um, I must admit, though, when it comes to biscuits, I do, my honest, honest opinion is I do like named brand biscuits i just i find that they taste nicer but anyway that's just my opinion so my little biscuits there um i bought i'm going to show you something what i've bought okay and this is what i'm going to be doing to when i start doing my own home decor i've been doing my home decor my own diy home decor projects for a long time now um and i and i'm going back to starting that all again and what i want to do is my own canvases now i did my own canvases for my dining room i was looking for pictures like this i painted this myself Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I wanted something unusual. I wanted something with a bit of glitter in it. I wanted a bit of glam. Um, and I went on YouTube and I followed some people who did some paintings. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to have a go at that. And I did three for my dining room and they came out absolutely lovely. Um, now, I'm doing some for this room in here. So I wanted to buy a small canvas. This is going to be my tester. I don't want to do a great big one and then it comes out awful. Um, and then I've wasted my money. So I wanted, buy, I wanted to buy a small canvas to do a test run on it. Then I can do my big canvases to go over there. This canvas I think was £1.79. Um, so if you're into painting, have a look at Home Bargains canvases. I find them cheaper than anywhere else. Um, done the canvas. I did buy another one of my most expensive things on here was three forty nine. Is a... Um, it's a candle, it's a two wick candle. I like Home Bargains candles. I find them, the smells are amazing. They truly are amazing. I used to buy, I'm a real candle person. I've always got candles on in my home. Um, I used to buy the Yankee candles and found they're just too expensive. This particular one is called Peony. It's 349, it used to be 299. Obviously it's gone up and it's peony. And what I like about this is as well, it looks quite high end. So we are looking at obviously going forward as well is high end products, but on a budget. 
Um, yes, this was a higher part of my budget, a higher part of my shopping. So it bought my shopping up, bumped it up because this was 349. But um, it does last a long time and it is part of their Luxe collection. It's delicate, elusive and floral nodes in it. It is very, very nice for 349. And again, as we go on, I'll give you tips on when you come down to the bottom, what to do with your dregs, because I don't throw none of these away. When they come down to the bottom, I recycle them. <laughs> anyway, we'll come to that on another occasion. I can, I can smell it without even taking the lid off of it. Um, another one of my most expensive products in here for two pounds, 1.99 are some cereal. Um, again, I'm not a brand person at all. So when I buy things like crispies for the children and Cocoa Pops and that, I buy the supermarket's own brand. But I only buy Kellogg's, this one is because I can't find any of the frosted wheats in any of the supermarkets. Only Kellogg's do this particular one. So yeah, that's for me. That's the only reason I buy that. Um, I'm just gonna pick out some random bits here. Um, I color my own hair. I don't go to the, the hairdressers anymore. Every time I go to the hairdressers to have my hair color because my hair is long, it costs me well over 60 pounds, well over 60. And okay, my hair's not great by any means. It does need a cut. It probably needs a good cut and blow dry and whatever. Um, but at the moment I'm trying to, you know, keep my, um, my budget down if you like. So for me, having my hair cut is not a priority. Um, so I buy my own colors. This is a Schwarzkopf one in Home Bargains, $1.99. They do them in the pound shop as well. Most, most supermarkets do um, their own brands. There is nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It's a natural brown um, and it works fine for me. Um, so that's one of my two pound project, uh, sorry, two pound um, products. That's what I was gonna say. Absorbent um, biodegradable. The reason I've got these is because they're biodegradable. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is if you keep them wet, and I've done this over, let's say a day, by the next day they feel a little bit slimy. So I try to dry them out um, and then re if I need to re-wet them again, run them under the tap and then wipe down. Um, but these are absorbent ones and I find, I don't use these for wiping the sides down. I'll only use them if the kids spill a drink. So if the kids spill a drink, then these are handy because they're absorbent to mop, to, to mop, let's put it that way. So I use these for like mopping things up rather than as a dish cloth, cloth, dish, di bleh, a dish cloth. They were 69p. And what did I say you get in there? Four? You get four in there for 69p, so that's not bad at all. Um, soap, hand soap. I only buy the refillables now. Um, I've got all the Dove from, from previous times when I bought the Dove pump, hand pumps. Um, I've kept them. When they're finished, I wash them out. I wash the, the, the top pump bit out as well, and I buy a refiller, and I just refill them with them. And this is the Dove refill it's one pound 69 and you get 500 mils this also is i believe um yes eco-friendly so this is eco refill it's 80 percent less plastic so if you've got hand pumps don't throw them away just go and buy a refill um it saves on the environment and it will save you money as well i always buy dove because i happen to like dove um, and it's got moisturizer in it and I, like this, and I like the smell as well and it's quite soft so that's why I buy that. So again I know that's a branded name but that's my preference. Um, coming back down I buy food caddy bio waste bags as well they're little food caddy liners um, so these are £1.49 you get 30 in a pack um, they're 100% can go in your, your, your compost bin, so they're, com they're um, compostable. And yeah, I put, I never, ever, ever put food in my bins, in my domestic bins because of the smell um, and, and the mold what creates from them as well. All the food, I have a tiny little bin in my cupboard down here. I line this with that and all the food waste, potato peels, everything, or if you've finished your dinner, you've got scraps of food on your plate, scrape it in there 
tie it up at the end of the day um, or e even every couple of days um, once it starts getting filled up because it does smell tie it up and it goes into the brown into my brown um, garden bin I always use those so I do think it's worth it, um, you know getting some of these as well um, if, you, if you can um, rinse aid for dishwasher stuff again I don't buy any make other than the supermarkets I make um, I think this was 99p I was gonna say under a pound and it was 99p this is by the make called Cristal um, home bargains do it pound shop do it um, you, ha you have to have rinse aid in, in your um, dishwasher if you've got a dishwasher so I buy that that make um, and the other bits are just packets just a couple of packets of sweets <laughs> I've got to have a treat haven't I um, and then the last thing again is um, reusable 100% recyclable and these are 30% recycled so these actually come from recycled products and they are 100% recyclable I use these for my recyclable bin I've got two bins I have a domestic black bag bin which hardly gets used and then the other one is um, for my recyclable products and that's why I use these and they just go out the same as all my other rubbish and then the recycle bin men come around and they and they collect it um, so I'm a bit of a believer in recy recycling things everyone's got their own opinion about it my husband Sean doesn't believe in it <laughs> I don't know I know I do know why he thinks um, that it's it's um it's all false that there's no recyclable he said there's people in a center you put all the rubbish in together and they sift through it all and re and then it'll get separated is that true i don't know um so, but i for my own personal um views on things i like to think that it does get recycled you know recycled in a proper recycling center and that's why i use them lots more coming up so do subscribe hit the subscribe button Click the like if you want to as well. I'll leave all my links to all the other, my other channel I've got, my social media, everything on there as well. The more subscri subscribers I get, the more I will do these videos. So yeah, if you want mind subscribing, it doesn't cost anything, it's totally free, and I'd really love you to stay in it to join us. Anyway, you take care everyone, and I'll see you soon. Toodle pips, bye.